the part to me, uh, the, the part of the night to me that jumps out is, damn, Russell Wilson has lost it. He He's just not any good anymore. And don't get me wrong, I'm not going to allow Sean Payton to skate on the fact that that field goal at the end of the first half, while it wasn't, it didn't necessarily decide the game, like, how do, how do you face your team after that? Call the timeout before fourth down when they were going to punt and it ends up allowing the Chiefs to have enough time to go down and, and kick a field goal and go in 13 to 10 instead of 10 nothing. Which, don't get me wrong, they were awful at the half. But there's a gigantic difference, not just in the score, but in the mentality of, wait, our coach called a timeout, which gave them enough time to kick a field goal? And he's a super, he's a, he was the guy who was supposed to come in for Nathaniel Hackett who didn't know what he was doing because this guy had all the answers. But I, I would love to place a huge chunk of the blame on the coaching, and he deserves some of it. But man, just Russell Wilson looks like he doesn't have it anymore. You know, when you're small and athletic and quick and bright and know how to move to just the right area, it can do just these sorts of things. If you lose just a little bit, maybe a lot bit of athleticism, suddenly you look like a normal human being back there. He looks tiny. He looks slow. He looks old. He looks lost. Watching Russell Wilson play for Denver is a lot like, and I think some of you ex- experienced it. Think of your one of your favorite bands from the 90s. And then you go see them now and you're like, yeah. how they sound? Mm. Eh. Eh. How they look? Eh. They look like they've had a lot of work done. And, you know, they still have the energy. They're still up there and working the crowd. But when they sing, not the same. Not the same. I went to a 50 Cent concert in Tel Aviv, Israel a summer and a half ago. So not, not last summer, summer before. And I mean, it was still cool, right? Like uh, a buddy of mine got us tickets. It was me and my daughter. You're seeing like a, a and, and for me, not that 50 Cent is some iconic artist, but I'll never forget when I played in France and we played against Paris Racing Every time I bought the, brought the ball up the floor, there was a DJ at the game and the DJ was playing in the club. So you bring it up. Mm, 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 mm. Like it was cool. So to go from that to 20 years later, take my daughter, see him play in Tel Aviv. But then he was like 250 instead of 50 cent. And yeah, he still had the same songs and the same persona, but it just wasn't as sharp. It looked like he put out that album 20 years ago. That's what Russell Wilson looked like in a football sense. Because Kansas City and and Nick Wright can go on Twitter all the time and make fun of the fact that they keep winning games or whatever. They don't look good. Now, Mahomes always pulls a, a, a a rabbit out of his backside and Kelsey still makes catches. And of course... There's that uncomfortable celebration on just an average first down catch between Brittany Mahomes and Taylor Swift. But but nonetheless, that was actually more entertaining than watching what I can only deem as sad. Here's the best analogy. I feel like Russell Wilson is late stages Elvis. Right? Remember late stage Elvis? jumpsuit that didn't really wasn't early jumpsuit days like Elvis was shaking his pelvis and the women were 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 falling down and they were fainting and it was amazing late Elvis was just uncomfortable right big thick glasses sweat everywhere didn't sound the same had to take some breaks you know it yes that's those same jumpsuits showed a little bit too much and they were showing some gut right that's what we look like with Russell Wilson. Hey, the good news is they got like three more years of this contract if you're Denver. They are screwed beyond all belief. Um, and I think it's the worst contract in sports, worse so than the Rendon contract. I, I'd, I'd be willing to debate that one. I've been thinking about this one all day. Jay Stu, when I put that out on social media, what'd you think? Rendon or 
uh, Russell Wilson in worst contract in sports. Yeah, let's I'll put it out there. What um, do you think? The worst contract in sports ever? No, hmm. right now. Right now. Yeah, I think I would give it to Rendon. I think the Angels have gotten less for what they paid for. Now, you're right. The real money for Russ kicks in, what, next year? This so, year. I, th- I think this is the first year. If you ask me in three years, I might have a different answer. But right now, maybe Rendon. Well, Rendon in terms of dollar figure, because it's 30 plus million for the next, I think, three or four years, regardless of whether he plays or doesn't play, it doesn't matter. The difference is that there's a luxury tax there and they can avoid it. With the salary cap, you can't avoid th- that albatross of a contract is going to be on your salary cap until it expires. Like, there's just no getting out of it. So that's why I think it's worse. Um, Byer, what do you think? If, if I said Rendon's contract or Russ's contract? I would say that it's Wilson's because of the, if you're the Angels, it's a bad contract, but you aren't penalized in terms of a cap with it. Sure, you would have to pay more and, uh, you know, the, the, the tax on it. But with the Broncos having Wilson locked up and all of that dead money really prohibits them from doing other things because of how much of an albatross's contract is. Yeah, so so this year it's eighty five million dollars in dead cap money. Okay, next year it's forty nine point six. Um, and while you like, okay, well the, in twenty five it's only five point eight in dead cap money. Then it cranks back up to twenty seven, forty, and fifty. Like there's just no getting out of it. This it's it's an atrocious contract, atrocious, and. And again, this is like what Dan's saying where, okay, Rendon's is bad. Rendon's 38, 38, and 38 for three more years. But you can, if, if you want to, you're going to spend that money. You got to pay him anyway. You can pay him to walk away. You can cut him. And it doesn't hurt you this, with the, to the same level that it hurts you with a, with a salary cap. Right? Is that, yeah. that, is that what we're saying? Yeah. Again, I mean, it stinks for the Angels and it stinks for Artie Moreno. Yeah, you're but, paying for something that you're not getting anything. Yeah, else. yeah, but I don't. But I both mean, teams are paying for something. Only the, the Broncos, like, you can't really replace him other than maybe getting a rookie, but then you're still going to have to either employ him or pay that bill if he leaves. And if he retires, again, you're still paying the bill. And if he, he's traded, you're still paying the bill. Like, it doesn't go away. It's not how it works in the salary cap. There's also the fact that they had to give up what they gave up. That we're not even factoring that, yeah. way, which is which you're completely right about. I, I was, I was, I, a part of me was sad because again, it's like watching Fat Elvis. You're like, damn, if people could have seen him back in the day, Russ was some. But part of me was, and this goes back to what we said yesterday. Remember how we said yesterday? And again, tell me if this metaphor or comparison makes sense. The Astros have gone to seven straight CS championship series. So while we can invalidate their World Series run because they're wearing buzzers and beating on trash cans and cheating, to bounce back and go to six more straight championship series goes like, you know what? They were awesome. They didn't need to cheat. They did and won, but we can't take away from the fact that they're an awesome club. And I compared that to the Patriots as well, right? Like the Patriots with Spygate, it wasn't like they started losing as soon as they got exposed for filming other teams when they were sending in their signals. This is the opposite. This makes you question everything. Like, man, was everything their defense and Pete Carroll hiding all his weaknesses? Because I, I thought he was pretty good. Like, he, I never, I, I didn't think he was great to start with. And, you know, Ryan Rosillo, I'll point, I'll point this out in the pod, Ryan Rosillo, I remember we were working at ESPN together, and he was like, did you realize that nine of their games his rookie year, he threw for less than 200 yards? And yet, like, he, they we're talking about him like he's Johnny Unitas when he's just really handing the ball off and then, you know, a couple throws late. And so I was never a real buyer into the superstar Russ, but a lot of people were. And you keep winning games, and they go through the, even after the Legion of Boom, they'd find ways to win games. And you're like, you know what? Russ is better. He earned my respect. I never was like, Cowherd, Cowherd thought the, the world, the, the sun rose and set by Russell Wilson. Oh, he's the best. He's the, and I was like, eh, but he does find a way late. Now you watch him and you're like, well, maybe it wasn't all him. Byer, you lived the Russell Wilson experience. You're a Seahawks fan. Does any of this 
call into question how good he was with the Seahawks for you. Um, no, it is interesting that you argue back to his rookie year, though, because I do think that there are stages of Russell Wilson, and at that point, he was looked at as rookie third-round pick. Right. So it wasn't looked at, even in their Super Bowl win against the Broncos. You know, there it was the defense. It was the, it was the running defense. game. It, they got a fumble first play of the game. Their defense was incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah there, like, there, there was all of that, but then there was the transition to the years after that where he did – take, obviously, a bigger role and became that star player that came along with the contract that he signed. I mean, there was a season where they had, and I think he you know, attributed to all but one or two touchdowns that they had because they didn't have a running game. And if they did run it in, it was usually him running it in. So you can't take away that portion of it because he was really good. He did have uh, a rapport. There weren't great targets. You know, in their Super Bowl against the Patriots, they brought in Chris Matthews. And was like, who? He was the guy who recovered the onside kick, you know, in the Packers uh, game prior, but he was not a factor at all. And Russ is thrown to him and he's got 110 yards. So there's, there weren't all of these weapons around him, but it did shift when he got the contract, when you bring in Jimmy Graham. And now it's come to this point. There was a really good portion there where he was a star quarterback, but it is not what it was, say, five years ago. I do wonder how long this lasts and what it does to his status as a Hall of Famer. I think he's still going to get into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And and people go, like, no, like, dude, went to two Super Bowls, won one, generally thought of as a winner, elite quarterback. Like, go and track it. Like, it's like the it's like the Eli Manning argument. Is Eli Manning a Hall of Famer? Well, he's not his brother, and he's not one of these elite guys, but he's won two Super Bowls. He's getting in the Hall of Fame. I would say Russell Wilson, prior to the prior to his stint with the Broncos, was absolutely getting in the Hall of Fame. I don't know at like how long this thing goes if he doesn't have some sort of resurgence and it doesn't feel like he's going to have one. And oh yeah, by the way, remember last night we said going in, hey, he and Mahomes have the same, same stats. And Mahomes hasn't been great. And he doesn't have a great wide receiving core. But does anyone think they're in the same solar system after watching him on the same field last night? The answer is no. I was a little bit sad and I do question some of the validity of some of the stuff that he was able to accomplish in Seattle. 